One of the problems with earlier versions of CorelDRAW before X5 was that the default color space was CMYK. This creates a couple of problems. First of all, lasers need to see RGB colors. If you're setting your RGB values in the laser dri driver so that you can attain certain colors and speeds, this may not happen as the laser driver will not be able to read the CMYK values. Secondly, the CMYK colors uh, need to be converted to RGB values and then back to the CMYK values if you're running an inkjet printer. So if you're doing sublimation, this creates a lot more strain on your computer. Thirdly, if you're using the power driver for sublimation and the color management is on in CorelDRAW, then CorelDRAW will try to manage the color wrongly and then send the wrong values to the power driver, thus causing issues with your color correction that you're using in CorelDRAW. Thus, when you generate an image in CorelDRAW, it may not necessarily look like the proper image or color that you print out. First of all, I'm going to draw a test square and I'm going to load a color into it. And you'll see this color greatly change when we turn the color management off. So first of all, turn the color management off. Go to the pull down menu, select color management off. You will do this whether you're running your laser machine or if you're using the power driver you need to turn this off. Notice the color that the box is now. It's gone from almost a purple to a blue. Next of all, our default color palette is CMYK. I want to turn this to RGB. Now I've got two color palettes open. I'm going to turn the CMYK off. I'm just going to click on it and there won't be any check mark there and now it's gone. If I double click on the color box, you'll notice that the palette is RGB. Just a couple of other things I need to do. Go to options and just set a couple of defaults. Just click on the plus key to expand out the directory structure, select styles, default text, edit. And you notice our default color space is CMYK. We're going to change this to RGB, click OK. You notice now that it's our values are RGB. I'm also going to check any vector graphics that we draw, so I'm going to click default graphic, select edit. Hit my pull down menu, select other, and hit the pull down menu, select RGB. Now any vector line that I draw will be RGB. Select OK. I'll just change this to inches and to hairline. Click OK. Now I just need to save the default so anytime I create a new document, it will automatically use these settings. Turn any of the other options off. Just select Styles, click OK, and my defaults have been saved. Now if I draw a rectangle, and I select the pick tool for the other, you notice that the default value for the outline is RGB. 